you can totally see in these photos just how puffy my face looks and so i've definitely noticed that since i've quit drinking my face doesn't look as swollen <laughs> Hello YouTube, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm Steph, if you don't know me, and I make videos on sobriety, self-love, wellness, and eating disorder recovery. I am so excited for today's video. It is on a topic that I have been wanting to talk about on YouTube for a really long time. As you may or may not know, I do not drink alcohol anymore. I am almost 17 months sober at this point. If you want to learn more about why I quit drinking or some tips that I have for quitting drinking, I'll leave those videos down below. But today I want to talk about all of the ways that quitting drinking has improved my physical appearance and kind of made me glow up. Quitting drinking has improved literally every single aspect of my life. It's helped me physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. But today we are just going to talk about the very surface level things and only talk about how it has improved and helped my appearance. If you feel like quitting drinking is something that you need to do and it's the right decision for you and nothing else is motivating you, I really hope that this video at least can motivate you and inspire you just by the physical benefits that you're going to experience once you quit. I will say that most of these physical benefits do not happen immediately. They do take time, so if you're not seeing them right away, don't get discouraged, don't give up. It usually takes couple weeks to a month to actually start seeing the benefits from quitting drinking because at first your body is detoxing and you're going to maybe go through withdrawals depending on how severe your drinking was so i just encourage you to not give up if you are not seeing benefits right away i have a little cheat sheet here of all of the things that i want to say and all of the research that i've done on this so i will leave all of the articles that i got this research from down below if you want to read them yourself so the number one thing that i have noticed that has improved in my physical appearance since quitting drinking is my skin i had pretty bad skin in middle school and high school and then it kind of got better when i stopped eating dairy and then it got a lot worse in college when i started drinking a lot and now that i don't drink it is pretty pretty clear so when i was drinking and i was getting a lot more acne i thought it was just because you know i wasn't taking good care of my skin and i was falling asleep with my makeup on but there are actually a lot more ways that alcohol specifically affects your skin so this is my skin as of right now it's like pretty clear besides my chin my chin is really the only place i get acne these days and i think that's well i know it's from hormones like your chin is where your hormonal acne usually shows up if i'm not mistaken but the rest of it is like pretty clear like throughout it also just has a nice like glow to it 24 7 and it's like really you know like, like bouncy like it's got a little bounce Drinking alcohol actually depletes your skin of vitamin A and vitamin A is responsible for cell renewal. So that's why when you drink alcohol, your face can look a little gray and a little bit dull and not as glowy because your cells aren't regenerating as fast as they could be. So I've definitely noticed since I quit drinking, my skin is just a lot more glowy and, and it looks brighter. It doesn't look as dull and gray. Another thing is that drinking alcohol can worsen or even cause certain skin conditions like eczema psoriasis rosacea so i used to have like a pretty big patch of eczema on my neck and it would get a lot worse when i drank a lot i didn't put the two together at the time but since i quit drinking it's like virtually gone away so that's a plus the third thing with the skin we're still in the skin category but the third thing about the skin is the number one thing i've noticed is i'm just a lot less puffy and i think we all know that alcohol is a dehydrant it dehydrates you when you're drinking it your body's going to want to hold on to water wherever it can because the alcohol is dehydrating you and so when i would wake up from a night of drinking i would definitely notice that my face was super puffy and even in places around my body like i was super puffy and you can totally see in these photos just how puffy my face looks and so i've definitely noticed that since i've quit drinking just my face doesn't look as swollen and it doesn't look as red like i said and lastly for the skin category alcohol can actually cause wrinkles and premature aging which obviously i don't notice now because i'm still only 22 but i'm sure when i grow older i'm definitely going to see a difference in my skin than my friends who drink their skin all right number two i don't know if this one's like gross to say but my hygiene is just overall better and when my hygiene is better i feel cleaner and when i feel cleaner i feel like i just glow i feel like we all know that feeling when you're hungover and even a shower just seems like the 
worst task in the world and so there were times when I would just sit in my filth all day because I was too hungover and I just can't imagine like sitting in my filth for that long anymore. <laughs> when I was drunk I would sometimes not brush my teeth at night and I would leave my makeup on overnight and sometimes throughout the next day it was really gross. Now that I am never drunk <laughs> and I'm always sober I take care of my skin, I take care of my teeth and my dental hygiene and I put deodorant on all the time. Speaking of deodorant, alcohol can literally give you an odor. The only ways that alcohol can leave your body is through your breath, your sweat, and your urine. So obviously after a night of heavy drinking, you are just going to not smell the best. So yeah, if nothing else, your hygiene will definitely improve when you stop drinking. I know there are people out there who even when they're like blacked out, they take off all their makeup and good for you, good for you, but that was not me. Number three is that my eyes are just brighter and I just look and feel more alive. Looking back at some of the pictures of me when I was drinking or when I was drunk, it honestly just makes me kind of sad because I know how much pain was behind those eyes. And I think that was obviously a reason why my eyes kind of looked dull and now they look brighter because I'm more aligned with my true self and I'm happy and I'm sober. But also alcohol can cause your eyes to physically be red. And another obvious one is that alcohol can cause dark circles, not actually the alcohol itself, but the lack of sleep because alcohol really affects your REM sleep and your ability to get good sleep. So now that I don't drink, I am constantly getting really good sleep. I'm getting the best sleep of my life pretty much. And so I never really get dark circles. And if I do, I know it was intentional or not intentional, but I know it was just because I was probably watching Love Island for all hours of the night. Another plus is that I never have drunk eyes in photos. I'm always alert. I'm always there. I always remember that the photos being taken. The worst feeling in the world is seeing the photos from the night before that you don't remember taking and you're just lights on, no one's home. Number four is that I feel less bloated. So this kind of goes along with what I was talking about in the skin category of the puffiness. I'm just less puffy all over my body, including my stomach, but also I just feel a lot less bloated from time to time and that translates to me just feeling healthier and happier. I just notice like I don't get bloated as often and I also don't have stomach pain as often. I used to struggle with stomach pain like a lot, like really bad stomach pain for basically all my teenage years up until now and I never put two and two together that it might be because of alcohol but alcohol can literally destroy your stomach lining and cause stomach problems and I don't think a lot of people know that and so once I cut it out I mean I learned this fact way after I cut it out and then I was like oh yeah my stomach has actually been hurting less so if you're experiencing any sort of stomach pain I would recommend taking a break from alcohol and just seeing how it makes you feel. So number five is that I feel like I am glowing from the inside out and that's a little cliche, but it's true. Ever since I quit drinking, I feel more aligned with my true self. I feel happier, I feel healthier. I just feel like I have more time to do the things that make you happy. And when you feel good on the inside, it truly does show on the outside. Quitting drinking and giving up alcohol at this age and at any age is freaking hard. It is the hardest thing I've ever had to do, but the benefits that I've experienced since doing that have been profound. Like I said, it's not only physical, it's mental, it's emotional, it's spiritual. It's so hard, but it's so worth it. If you feel like quitting drinking is the right decision for you, I hope that this video has been one source of inspiration for you. I hope my other videos can be a source of inspiration for you. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate every view. If you liked this video and you wanna see more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it because that would really help to support me. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers as of today. So once we hit that, I will be doing a big giveaway on my Instagram. So please be sure to follow me there so you can have the information on that and yeah thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video